Hey Cancer, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your beginning of February general love reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a person reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So Cancer, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was You Make Me Feel So Young by Frank Sinatra. I will leave the link to that song in the description box below. And look who flipped up. Did you guys see that? Right here. So you guys are show. Wow, it's you guys. Okay. <laughs> so I'll leave the link to the song in the description box below. So you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Now, this is your major arcana. So you guys are in a high vibration. And if you notice that bright yellow glow, behind there you guys are like you i feel like you guys are making someone feel youthful feel young they feel like you literally are breathing a fresh breath of air into their body you may be their air and as i'm saying air some of you guys can be connected to an air sign now mr frank sinatra was a fire sign he was a sagittarius so you could also be dealing with sag or someone that you met in sagittarius season of last year that would be um november december time frame but i really feel like you know you guys have you guys are bringing the light into somebody's life. Again, that bright, light yellow right there. You guys are like the sun to this person. Somebody can also have Leo in their chart. Also, every time I see this card, whatever this is right here makes me think about a name tag. Some of you guys could have met someone at their place. You Okay, so you could have met this person at their place of work. They could have met you at your place of work. Or you guys could have worked together at some point because for some of you guys i feel like you're not working in the same place if you did at first because the top you know and i, oh, I almost said the tower so there could have been some type of ending there because i want to say the tower and the tower is a major icon so that's a definite energy the tower is aries scorpio energy so that time frame could resonate for you guys also or sun sign but if you notice yeah i want to say tower and this is a castle and there's no you know there's nothing falling apart here so that could have been an ending in somebody's life but from that ending, they are moving forward into something positive. And I feel like when they move forward, they ran into you. So someone could have lost their job and started a new job. or, And when I say, you know, lost a job and moved to a new job, for some of you guys, this person left and they moved into a different city, different state. And that's how you guys met. This person could be very new to the area. Because again, the chariot is on the move. You know, they're on the journey. And, it's, and whenever you have major arcana, this is something faded and destined. So there was a faded and destined tower that somebody had. But whatever this tower moment was, it led them to you or led you to them. Okay? Because if you notice, again, he's moving away from the castle. Yeah, and I keep wanna, I keep seeing tower. So somebody had a tower moment. But again, out of, the tower, out of that tower moment, some wishes came true. Because I'm just looking over his head. You see how you have the drapery that has the stars. The stars like, is making me immediately think, like, make a wish somebody's wishes were granted unbeknownst to them because of some type of ending. And, you know, I'm looking at his shoulders here. You see how it almost looks like crescent moons. It looks like a face right here. If you guys could see that, it's making me think about Pisces. And I feel like some of you guys could also be dealing with someone who has strong Pisces placements in their chart also. Or if you're single, you could be moving into a relationship in Pisces season. And Pisces season is February, March. So let's see what we get for you guys today. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the visuals. Again, we're going to get your major arcana, which is the chariot. Wow. You guys are moving into a new relationship. And then I say Pisces, and I said Pisces seasons, February, March. You got three right here, three of wands, March. Wow. Somebody about to march their way right into your damn life. <laughs> I'm getting that also. Four of wands, marriage, long-term commitment. Now, remember I was also talking about that yellow energy, and I said somebody could be dealing with a Leo. Because I was thinking about the sun. You do have two fire sign energies. Leo, Sag, Aries. Leo could resonate also for some of you guys. Um, Sag, Aries also as well, okay? So let's go ahead and go through the deck until we get your major arcana. The chariot and the card that comes before and the card that comes after. For Cancer, did I say Pisces? Look at that. And you got the moon there. For Cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus, individuals, yeah. So, I, you know, I'm also getting with that song, You Make Me Feel So Young. So for some of you guys, this person could be significantly younger than you, or you could be significantly younger than them. If it's like a major age gap, for some of y'all, you can have people who are opposed of it. Either your family and friends or their family and friends. Like somebody could be saying that someone's using them. You know, like you have to stop listening to what people are saying also, or you, you're, you may be telling your person not to listen to what people have to say. 
Because I feel like opposition, to be honest with you, I do feel like opposition. But whatever the case, I'm going to tell you, I feel like there's a happy outcome or someone's happy in a situation or in a connection. But you have people around you who are not supporting it. And remember I said the name of the song is You Make Me Feel So Young. You have two children here. So, ooh, okay. So, again, I'm getting that somebody could be significantly older than someone and their children could be the same age as either you or your person. And people don't like that. Hmm. Yeah, somebody may want to have a sit down and talk with you because they have questions. Okay, and I'm seeing already your card, so I don't have to shuffle anymore. So we're going to get the card that comes before and after. So you have the Ten of Cups, and they're right behind that. Wow, you have the Empress. I like this. So this person knows. They Look at this. They saw it. True clarity, knowledge, wisdom, victory. This person is going to tell you straight up that they feel like you're the one. For every empress, there's an emperor, vice versa, same sex, however it applies to you. This is somebody who was put on a pedestal, very well respected, and this person knows who you are and, and what you mean to them. Again, I keep getting the energy of like somebody not being happy. This could be a daughter or a niece or someone who is close to your person or someone who's close to you who wants to have a sit down and talk about your intentions. I'm getting that also. But overall, I will tell you, this is a very beautiful energy here. You know, some of you guys could be um, wanting to introduce your person to family and friends. Also, I'm getting that because, you know, sitting down, talking, communicating. Look at that. And right up under it, you had a 10 of Pentacles. So some of you guys want to build and grow. Okay, you want to build and grow. And then I'm going to say again, somebody can have a family member who wants to know if you're a gold digger. Or you got family who wants to know if they're a gold digger. And I always say this because yes, the Ten of Cups is talking about happiness and things like that. Henceforth, the, the rainbow and abundance with the bees. But look at Red Dress Face. She does not look very happy. Like, she looks like she has concerns. She has questions. And it's definitely associated with someone that they have a mutual tie to. Because she has the spool of thread that she's using to sew with. So that's their, their, their mutual connection. That's their red string there. The attachment. There's a connection here. So I feel like because that red string is like, yeah, and even I'm getting a red thread here. And then she has this red belt around her waist this is someone could possibly be someone's child because you see how this is up under like the womb area yeah this could be someone's child who's questioning someone's uh, intentions now again this is general so i want to apply to everyone but i am getting that for a very somebody specifically out there but nonetheless with the ten of cups and the empress i feel like somebody is like they just feel happy in your presence or you just make them happy or they just make you happy and i want you to notice here in all of these cards you have no masculine energy it's all feminine so it definitely is associated with a feminine energy who's making someone very happy and somebody makes someone very happy and somebody's gonna make somebody a wife or a husband somebody's gonna get married here or there's gonna be talks of it again i feel like there will be people who are questioning this situation but i feel like a decision has been made somebody knows what they want Bottom of that, absolutely. The lovers, wow. Yeah. <laughs> the lovers, okay. Gemini energy here. Yeah, the universe has aligned you and this person. I'm going to say again, there's something with people questioning things because he's looking at her like he knows what he wants, but she's looking up at the angel like, okay, is this safe? Is it true? And we did have an ace of swords here, so it could be a Gemini individual who's questioning things. Or someone who has strong Gemini and a placements in a chart. It could be your child or their child. Somebody's asking questions. But again, a decision has been made. Because this is not a like an engagement ring or whatever. But I just, you see how it's glowing. It's making me think about somebody getting proposed to. We do have um, Valentine's Day coming up. And a lot of people love to propose on Valentine's Day. So, something like that could be happening. Oh, also, even though these are two females... It could also be somebody going to someone's family and saying, Can, you know, I would like to have your permission to marry this person or something like that. Or asking someone to help plan an engagement. If you are completely single, I can say right now, you may meet someone through a mutual friend. I'm getting that also. Tower, absolutely. <laughs> so, again, I feel like what I'm getting with this energy... You got people who are not happy about it. They, they they feel like the foundation has some shadiness to it. You see how the foundation is jagged? And like I said, they somebody has questions. She's looking up at the angel like somebody has questions. Somebody doubts something here. Again, it doesn't matter what they feel because to your person, you feel like they're their divine counterpart. Because this is a divine counterpart here. And again, I'm gonna say if you're completely single, when you meet someone, this could be the case. This could this could definitely be the situation. Where people are questioning motive. Because I want you to notice she's dre she's dressed in this and I almost said dripped in Gucci and Prada. What's that? Um, 
the husband in Love and Basketball said that, and he was talking about how she's upset that he doesn't spend enough time, but he's like, well, that doesn't keep you from being dripped in Gucci and Prada. In other words, like I provide for you. And again, it was talking about monetary and she's wearing this gold and green. And you know, look, I'm from Chi-Town, right? Green is for the money and gold is for the honey. So this is somebody, you know, somebody may feel like someone's a, a gold digger. And see, again, now you got six cups again. So I feel like children... But it will be adult children. I feel like adult children are having questions. I don't know why I'm immediately thinking about Anna Nicole. Remember she married the um, Jay Howard, was his name? It was something like that. But I know he was old, like older, and he was literally on his deathbed when she met him. And it's interesting because, as I say, his deathbed, and I see this going, look, he's on his deathbed. You get what I'm saying? So somebody may doubt that you genuinely love this person or want to be with this person for who they are. Somebody feels like you just want something out of the situation. Or someone feels like, or you may feel like that, or someone in your family may feel like that about your love interest. Because I'm just getting a very strong energy of somebody, a, a nice size age gap. You have the 10 of cups here, possibly 10 years. And even though it's not a huge age gap for some, it, you, for others, they may feel that way. Okay? Seven of pentacles, like people are, again, I feel like somebody feels like it's all about money. Let's get a clarifying for the Ten of Cups here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. Okay, see how that flipped out there. Yep, see, in the second time you got it. In the first deck, you had the Five of Wands, conflicts, arguments, disagreements. Like, people are feeling as though, I don't know, there's people out here who feel like they have some say so on what's going on in their parents' love life or your love life, something here. Family and friends, it just seems like people are not happy with um, your choice of companion. And if you know that your family isn't doing this again, I'm going to say it's a, this other person's family. Again, if you are single, I feel like when you start dating, it does look like there's going to be somebody who is like, people are questioning the connection here. Two of swords. But I will say again, they don't have any say so. They don't have any authority. They don't have any authority of what you do. Sort up is yes, which means this person feels like they can come and ask questions, but it's still cross, it's blocked. And it's around her heart. When it comes to matters of heart, nobody has say so over how, you know, you and your person decide to move forward. Again, more Gemini energy here. If you see the Roman numeral two, looks like the Gemini symbol. So somebody could definitely have strong Gemini in their chart. Let's get a clarify for the Empress. Clarify for the Empress for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. And I almost said Taurus, so some of you guys will be dealing with a Taurus. Okay. Lovers again. See, there's a strong Gemini reference here. So you got the lovers again. You have the lovers clarifying the empress. Some of you guys, it could be a Gemini person. If it's not a Gemini who's questioning things, it could be a Gemini sun sign individual who you're with. Also, you could have met someone in Gemini season of last year. And you know, that's May, Mar uh, May, June. And I almost said March. So something, yep. I almost said March. And if you notice here, she's a three. Three, the third month of the year is March. So March, May, or June. And you do have five of wands here, so that's May. So you got double May reference. Whatever the case, it looks like people are not happy with your choice of lover. Okay? Somebody's not happy with your choice of lover. Or someone is not happy with your lover's choice as, as far as the connection with you. It doesn't matter because, again, this person makes you happy and makes you feel alive, makes you feel abundant, or you make this person feel like that. So it doesn't matter because remember, we stopped the Ten of Pentacles. That's abundance. So whatever it is, it doesn't matter. The universe has aligned this. You get what I'm saying? This is the angel bringing you two together. You, the universe has aligned this, so it doesn't matter what anyone else wants. It's all about what you and your person want. And I just noticed this also. You got the Ten of Cups here. And then we stopped at the Ten of Pentacles. So this is, you know, Ten of Pentacles talks about a cycle wrapping up something ending finality like this is some someone that someone feels like something has come full circle and they're this their person they don't have to look any further i feel like unions are being made like forged right now again i keep getting the energy because see even though this is not cupid this is giving me cupid vibes like you see how he's bringing them together and again cupid is notorious for being associated with valentine's day so something very specific as far as valentine's day for you guys cancer is going to come up again somebody can get engaged somebody can get a ring also, you could, um, somebody could reach out to you on social media. I'm getting it also. And slide in your DM like, hey, happy Valentine's Day just randomly. And I know that sounds weird, but I've had people do it to me before. And it's like people who are following me that I didn't even know was following me. You never know. 
I'm getting that energy. Like if you don't say, for instance, you don't post something saying like, oh, me and they are out or whatever. You know, I feel like this person is like kind of lurking and, and seeing that you're not posting or talking about stuff like that. And they're going to use this to their advantage to reach out and communicate with you and, and express some, or I feel like they're trying to check your temperature to see like, oh, is she with somebody? Is he with someone? I'm getting somebody is going to slide in somebody's DM and, and kind of ask some questions or find a sneaky way to find out what they want to find out because you know source is also knowledge is what i'm getting okay so cancer someone rise in venus individuals as always i'm going to ask that you continue to like share and subscribe until next time take care bye